Kimi Raikkonen is the most experienced driver in F1 history. He currently holds the record for the most Grand Prix starts and the furthest distance driven. With over 20 victories and many more podiums to his name, it would seem a fool's errand to try to reduce the 2007 world champion's moments of brilliance to a mere 10, but we'll give it a go. In 2013, Kimi Raikkonen was in his second season racing for Lotus, after a two-year hiatus during which he'd indulged his passions for rally driving and NASCAR. At the championship opener in Melbourne, skill, speed and strategy were his watchwords. Starting the Australian Grand Prix P7, he made up two places at the start and further demonstrated his mastery of the art of overtaking as the race unfolded. So that's Raikkonen then taking the lead back yeah. from Adrian Sutil. Raikkonen wins the first Grand Prix of the season and starts off with absolute perfection. When he made his Formula One debut in 2001, Raikkonen's racing credentials may have been questioned by some, but by 2003, his skill at the wheel was already undeniable, as demonstrated at a rain-soaked Interlagos. As chaos descended in Sao Paulo, and many a mighty motorist found themselves sliding into walls and colliding with debris, Raikkonen's mastery of the wet came to the fore. What a move! What a driver this guy is. I mean, what can you say? Just doesn't fear anybody or anything. Conditions had become so treacherous that the race had to be stopped, and the result taken from driver positions two laps from the end, which meant Kimi was awarded the win, for the time being. The result was later revised, and a surprisingly cheerful Kimi, ever the gentleman, handed the winner's trophy over to Jordan's Giancarlo Fisichella at the subsequent San Marino Grand Prix. Raikkonen's most recent win to date at the 2018 United States Grand Prix was a long time coming, and he broke a record getting to it. The Iceman had endured 113 winless starts since his previous victory, making the previous record, Ricardo Patrese's 99, seem a mere blink of an eye. More than five years on from tasting the winner's champagne at the 2013 Australian Grand Prix, the Kimi of old was in evidence from the off in Austin. Going into turn one now, Raikkonen is just ahead of Hamilton. Kimi Raikkonen leads the Grand Prix. The Finn would hold off extreme pressure from Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen throughout the race to take their sweetest of victories. Kimi Raikkonen wins the US Grand Prix. Grande Kimi, grande Kimi. Well done, my friend. Uh, thank you. Finally. Obviously, I'm happy, so, you know, just prove some people wrong. I mean, it makes, makes enough fun for me. The 2009 Ferrari had been well off the pace all season. In an unusual year for the sport, it was Braun GP and Red Bull who were suddenly at the front of the pack. Kimi qualified P6 for the Belgian Grand Prix that year, but a superb start quickly pushed him up to second on the opening lap. Raikkonen on a charge now! The Finn then eased past race leader Giancarlo Fisichella, and from there he would fend off the chasing Italian to claim Ferrari's only victory of the season. Kimi Raikkonen wins for Ferrari in Belgium! It was his fourth Belgian Grand Prix win from his five previous starts. The King of Spa, mastering the circuit once more. In his 18th season of Formula One, Kimi Raikkonen proved at the 2020 Portuguese Grand Prix that when conditions are tricky, experience prevails. The Iceman started on soft tyres on a track which was low on grip and made up an incredible 10 positions in a dizzying opening lap. Picking off cars one by one, the veteran Finn showed all of his experience and talent to move up from 16th position to 6th by the start of the second lap. This was all in his Alfa Romeo C39, a car unable to fight for points on a regular basis. It was truly one of the greatest opening laps in F1 history, a textbook study for the racing drivers of the future. Kimi Raikkonen is in another league right now. This is absolutely thrilling stuff at the start of the Portuguese Grand Prix. In only his second season with McLaren, the Iceman showed his sensational speed at Sepang. Starting the 2003 Malaysian Grand Prix from P7, Kimi's race pace proved phenomenal. 
Carrying more fuel than most at the start, the Finn pushed hard, outperforming the limits of his car, finding every curb. As the pit stop shuffle played out, his early speed and strategy paid off, and he found himself ahead of the faster Renaults and Ferraris. Kimi Raikkonen wins his first Grand Prix. What a start to the 2003 Formula One season. Fantastic. Finishing over half a minute ahead of the field, the young man from Espo achieved his first of many race wins. It's tomorrow morning or tomorrow when I really noticed that I won my first race. We have put so much effort over the winter that it's paying off now and it's, it's, good for the, it's good for all of us. Red Bull may have been sporting a Star Wars themed livery at the 2005 Monaco Grand Prix, but the force was definitely with Kimi Raikkonen that weekend. Now then, Mr. Raikkonen, what can you do? It was his qualifying run, chasing Fernando Alonso's provisional pole time, that proved he was a master of the Monte Carlo streets. Across the line he goes, almost half a second, half a second faster than Fernando Alonso. That incredible pace continued the next day, with the Finn building up a 35 second advantage in just 14 laps making his one and only pit stop and comfortably rejoining at the front of the field, all of whom had pitted under an earlier safety car. Kimi Raikkonen, that weekend, was truly in a league of his own. Raikkonen's 2004 challenge didn't get off to a good start. Plagued by technical issues, he failed to finish five of the first seven races of the season. But at Spa-Francorchamps, he would break his and McLaren's season duck in fine style. Hampered by a wet qualifying session, the Iceman started the race from 10th spot. There was carnage on the opening lap, with four cars out, and at the restart, Kimi was able to best the best, passing the champion-in-waiting Michael Schumacher on the run-up to Eau Rouge, and hunting down teammate David Coulthard on the Kemmel Strait. The Finn would quickly find himself in the lead of the race, and even a late safety car that allowed Schumacher to catch up didn't deter the McLaren man. The German had dominated the season up to then, winning all 12 of the races in which he'd finished. But Kimi never looked back and comfortably stayed clear of the Ferrari, holding on for a famous victory. No doubt who the winner is, and he's known as the Iceman, but even he could excuse himself for a little emotion now, I think. One of Kimi's greatest drives came at Suzuka in 2005. Starting the race from 17th on a grid of 20, Raikkonen forced his McLaren through the field with scant regard for the sensibilities of the great and good, making up place after place until he was sitting second. With eight laps to go, Kimi pitted and began to chase down race leader Giancarlo Fisichella. Lap after lap, the Iceman chipped away at the Italian's time until on the final lap, he was in striking distance. Can Raikkonen sweep in? Yes, yes! He can. brilliant! What a brilliant move! Side by side down the straight, Grand Prix racing at its absolute finest. He started from 17th place, absolutely sensational performance. Probably Kimi's best drive. Great overtaking manoeuvre, you know, it's not just that it was a good overtaking manoeuvre, it, it was the last lap and probably the last opportunity. 2007 saw Kimi Raikkonen at his most brilliant, exemplified by his performance in the dramatic and title-deciding finale to the season at Interlagos. Trailing championship leader Lewis Hamilton by seven points and second place Fernando Alonso by three, Kimi qualified third in Sao Paulo, with his Ferrari teammate Felipe Massa on pole. A blistering start from the Finn and some masterful manoeuvring from Massa saw the Iceman up to second. Kimi later moved into first place, overcutting his Scuderia colleague through the pit stop phase. The McLarens of Alonso and Hamilton were unable to do anything to counter the pace of the Scarlet cars up front. Kimi held his cool throughout the race and in the end comfortably claimed that elusive driver's championship by the smallest of margins. Kimi Raikkonen is world champion of 2007. OK, it's all over. It's all over. Hamilton 7. By my calculations, we win the championship by one point. In one of the tightest seasons in living memory, one in which Ferrari and McLaren shared all the victories, it was the cool-headed Finn who prevailed. Truly, 
the greatest moment of his remarkable career so far. We went from a long way behind. We, we could uh, reduce the gap and uh, go ahead and win the championship in uh, not just uh, construction but also drivers. And uh, for sure I'm going to enjoy today and uh, probably first month. So <laughs> we see what happens, but I'm, I'm very happy.